U.S. government. We got the triple threat today, motherfuckers. Asia, baby. Represent. Represent. Yep. We got three jars of pickled products. Two of them are kind of similar. Pickled cucumber with chili in soy sauce. Spicy! Pickled young cucumber in soy sauce. I mean, we've had, we've had, a. Uh, Cornishes before so I'm thinking maybe this is the Chinese version of Cornishes. They kind of look like like preserved Dicks or something or like turds. They're all mashed in there. These are sliced, but the one that I'm most Excited about today Are these weirdos right here pickled green mango slices first pickled young cucumber in soy sauce. That's gonna be that that would be my wrapper name. Young cucumber. Let me try to pop this. Ooh. Start with the smell. Uh oh, uh, okay. It's 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 got a kind of funky smell to it. it. Smells a lot like molasses and soy sauce. And it looks fucking nasty, dude. Like this is the first thing you see when you open these up. It's just, uh, I can't not see a turd there. This is a little disturbing. It really does look like a slug I'm about to eat here. No, absolutely no external snap. Let's go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I like that. Very different from all the other pickles we've had before. This is very much a soy sauce. It's sweet, and it's not bad. Kind of shit you eat with um, rice for sure. Got like a seaweedy, a seaweed taste to it. And yeah, it looks fucking terrible, but it tastes pretty good. You no, know, it kind of looks like a lizard tail or something. I don't know what kind of like American thing I could compare this to. It really does taste like molasses and soy sauce. Dude, these look fucked. It just kind of looks like a cucumber, but ugh, it much more looks like a slug. Fucking nasty, but it tastes pretty good. Like I said, I, want, I, w I would like some rice with this. I think this would re go really good with some fish and rice. And it's got a really good internal crunch. All right, let's see the ingredients. Uh, cucumber, soy sauce, water, soybean, wheat, Salt, sugar, seasonings, lactic acid, malic acid, citric acid. Oh shit, so there, there's no molasses in this. Damn, I don't know why I taste the molasses so much. The sugar, we're not sure what kind of sugar they're using, so I guess it could be kind of like a molassified sugar. Oh, it's a product of Taiwan. Okay, so the nationalists are coming up with this stuff. Not a communist pickle, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's not great. I mean, the appearance is terrible. The crunch is good. The taste is good. I'm gonna give this uh, a three. Could probably eat the whole thing if I had a bowl of rice. But yeah, okay. I mean, this is it's, it's not it's not like crazy, but they're still out here. You know, they're still representing. They still got a solid uh, mini pickle here. So pretty good so far. All right, let me check this one out. Batter number two. In the number two spot, we got the pickled cucumbers with chili in soy sauce. It's got chili sauce in it, so it should be <laughs> spicy. Who that? Okay. So again, as soon as you open it up, it's a fucking mess. Much like the, the problems in China today. But as soon as you de start delving into it, you're like, oh, fuck, man, seriously, it's just a fucking shit show. Now, same company, so I'm expecting a similar thing, and it does have that same molasses smell, but you could tell there's chili in here, too. So let me try it out. Got a good crunch. Yo, it tastes basically the exact, exactly the same, except it's got a little fire in the back. Nothing to make you like, <laughs> now, you know, China's uh, famous for their dragons. But their dragons don't breathe fire. That might have something to do with it. The flavoring's a little bit off compared to the the last one. It's got a little bit more funk in it. 
old world Chinese funk. You know how they like to keep it in China. Like, we're not going to have any issues here. Let's just keep it real. Keep it simple. Keep it, most of all, keep it nice and affordable. I didn't get this at the store. My, my boy DL gifted these to me. But he told me he got it at the, like, the Chinese market. So I bet you this couldn't have cost more than like three mil. I'm going to hit this one with the 2.75. So I'm sorry. It is kind of below par. I wouldn't, like, if it came down to these two, I would definitely go with the the non-chili ones. The chili ones taste a little off. These aren't standalones. You need that rice. Got rice. Got food. Got soup. Got spice. Got skills when you're rolling the dice. Got rice. That's the question I'm asking when I eat these pickles. If I went to a restaurant and I said, can I get some pickles, and they gave me this, I would be like, got rice. Okay, let's move on to the star of the show. Never seen anything like this before. Pickled mangoes. I've heard of pickled peaches, which I really want to try. I've had a pickled tomato before, which was dank. On their show, we've had the pickled garlic shoots. This is my first encounter with even a jar of pickled mangoes. So this is going to be interesting, folks. All right, we got like a weird black thing on the, <laughs> on the top of this jar, so that's not a good sign. It's dirty. Good thing about pickles, though, is... Presumably these are sealed, so it doesn't really matter. Like, what is this shit, man? Got me hesitationized a little bit. And it looks like there's some black, like, blemishes in there. But you know what? You don't go to China for that, that picture perfectness. You go to China for that flavor. You go to China for that culture. You go to China for those dragons. Oh, whoa. This is some other world smell, man. This is like, I don't know if this is from China or Mars, huh? Oh man, you know what it smells like? It smells like those cheap ass like 50 cent grenade uh, drinks. Those little drinks that are just water and uh, sugar. Oh yeah, dude. It smells like a really artificial lemon lime flavoring from like a really cheap drink that you got at the corner store. It smells weird as fuck. Now they're, they're green mangoes, so I assume that means it's not like quite ripe yet. But I can tell you right now, there, there's a little give when I hold on to it, so I know it's not gonna have an external snap. This is some weird old shit. Look at this. You could tell it was like hand sliced. For the, I mean the skin. You could tell it was like hand skin. Oh. Uh. No. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it tasted bad. It tastes real bad. It tastes like paint. <laughs> like acrylic paints, man. I know from experience. It tastes really chemically. Oh, that like weird lemon lime artificial smell is overpowering. And the crunch isn't very satisfying. It's really sour. Sour on another level. It seriously tastes like a combination of the, the lemon lime drinks, the cheapest lemon lime drink you could think of, and uh, paint, like chemicals and paint. It's pretty bad, man. It was like an unapologetically, like, this is not a good sign either that there's like, the, the black shit that I saw on the outside appears to also be on the inside here. So this is sketchy territory I'm going into right now. I'm glad I tried it because it's some weirdo shit. Pickled mango. Pickled green mango. Thai world imports and exports. This is a product of Thailand. A completely different country. Right? So why they, while they're also kickboxing out there. Eating these weird motherfuckers, I guess. The pickled mangoes. It looks very appetizing. These are kind of opposites right now because the, the slug ones... I looked like slugs, obviously. I didn't want to eat it, but it turned out pretty decent. And then this one, it looks like a like really clean, like really crisp, magical product, and it tastes like fuck. It's like somebody just but like sliced up some mangoes in their backyard and threw it in a jar of formaldehyde or something. This shit's fucked up. Ingredients: mango, fifty-four percent. 
water 22%, vinegar 10%, so it's definitely a pickle. Uh, sugar 10%, salt and sodium benzoate, sodium metabisulfite, and food coloring. Yellow number five. Yellow number five. This also has yellow number five in it. The, the worst pickles we've had so far are the ones where they don't try that hard. They only have a couple of ingredients. This is, is no exception. Mango water, vinegar, sugar, salt. But I don't, uh, where the, where's the paint taste coming from? Is my question. Is that just what happens when you pickle mangoes? I don't know. Maybe you could get used to it. Just like you could easily get used to those uh, cheap ass drinks at the corner store. So, and those taste pretty awful, especially probably when you first drink them. So, you, I could see somebody getting used to these, but it would take a lot of getting used to. And it kind of has this like fucked up, like chemical menthol effect going on, too. Like, Oh man, it really reminds me of uh, eating paint. It got past that zero mark. I was able to eat it. So out of respect, I'm gonna give this a one. But this is one of the worst ones we've had. This is sad, man. I really wanted this one to be good, but that's a one out of five. Failure. The Battle of the Asians. Uh, this one comes in last, one out of five. The Chilies come in second. This one's a 2.75, still a little bit subpar. And the winner of today are the slugs, the pickled young cucumber and soy sauce. I got that soy sauce. That's why they call me young cuke. You can also call me young slug if you want. This one was a three out of five. Decent city. I'm sorry though, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy any of these. I mean, I'm sure there's gotta be better pickles at the Asian market. These are like, uh, sidekicks to the rice maybe with rice and some fish this would this would be elevated to like a four out of five but on its own it's a three i'm just glad we got ourselves over to asia so we could represent the little so now we've been to europe and we've been to asia we've been to north america with the american shit so what we're looking at now is south america africa oceania and if there's such a thing i will try some uh, pickled penguin from Antarctica. Look out for that in the future. Thanks for watching once again, and you know, stay marinated.